on the table. Are you excited for the return of Smashers Pirate Dino Island Smashers to be exact? Hey everyone, this is Dan and thank you for watching Squirrel Stampede as we have the all new collectible Smashers to review and find. Obviously an abundance of Smashers Dino Island to explore today. We are going to focus onto the pirate skulls with the wrecks of T's protruding from their foreheads. Ouch! And then at some point we will rediscover the Mega Dino Egg for Pirate Island. There's two of those and then there's three of the miniature eggs too to crack open. Much to smash, much enjoyable, stress relieving collectibles inside. So let's begin to smash and see what we can find. Squirrel, Squirrel Stampede! stampede. Instead of the classics Mega Dino Egg, we are going to focus our attention on the new Smashers Dino Island Pirate Dino Adventure, looking like a sinister pirate skull with a dinosaur protruding up on its temple. Ouch! We're having a good laugh about the over 30 surprises inside, yet contains 28 pieces. Huh? A few of these surprises are going to be doubled up, apparently. There's much to be done, though, more much than we've ever done, with smashing open the pirate skull, following treasure maps, and of course, new collectible smashers dinosaurs to review. But who cares about all that when you have this fine print to read? Ooh. Oh look there, Hammond has found all the interesting features inside, and I'm guessing the Smashosaurs inside must be another T-Rex, and maybe a Dimorphodon? We have the black dinosaur protruding from the pirate skull, and we've got the red dinosaur protruding from the pirate skull to check on out today. I guess the first thing to do is just admire how awesome this skull is. Spare no expense! Yeah, they went all out and it's a nice refreshing take over the eggs that we have seen plenty of times over the last few years. Plus, we've got this feature. Welcome to Dino Island. Arr. Well, that will keep me up at night. again. It's almost going to be a shame tearing this beautiful packaging off and just seeing what's underneath. Welcome to Dino Island. He doesn't have much to say. Okay, well, we begin. Let's find a tear strip way on the back here. Skully satisfying. And let's play Hannibal Lecter today and tear our face flesh off. <laughs> By the way, how many times is John Hammond going to fall during this review? Please place in the comments. So there's our giant, now pale looking pirate skull, just not the same. I guess if you're an artist, you could repaint this in. That would be kind of fun. I may just do that as this skull piece is so strikingly awesome. Look at that. It's even got his like neck bandana going through. Pretty impressive. Where's that red one now? Will this one be just as satisfying? And tearing off the flesh of this face. Now the downside to my red one is Oh no! An unfunctioning eyeball. That's kind of a bummer. Maybe there's a battery strip we can knock it back into place as we continue on. Barry, is it necessary to nest inside the skull egg's nose? <coughs> kind of disgusting, Barry. So let's continue on with the black dinosaur skull here. I think this one will be functioning at top eye level. And to open our skull, we will smash it like so. -eth. Well, maybe we just need to open it down the seam. Yeah. It is tight. Anybody have a crowbar? And here we go again. We've got foam, we've got carrots, what? we've got bananas, and oh, our classic Smasher Dino eggs. I gotta say though, 
These should be what Smashers is all about. And I really wish instead of all these giant eggs, we just have packs of these again to hunt and collect all the miniatures inside. So if you're listening, Zuru, let's bump up those again. So I gotta find a map in here. I've gotta find a map. This might be how to build a Smashosaur, and this is probably our map. Ooh. What do you know? The Dino Island scratch map. There's a lot to do here, and over on the back, a gold and maybe T-Rex to build. Follow the treasure map and unbox the items. Arg, are you ready for Tall Tail? So Tall Tail, was that the one that looked like carrots? I don't know why I said carrots, I think it's this one. So inside this one, Dino Island Quicksand, we have, and we will discover the sand of quick. Ah, it's that really soft, foamy compound. I think we saw something very similar just recently in Beehive Sim, Beehive Simulator with the, ooh, there's a tail, with the honey wax, beeswax, uh, bee stuff, and there's our first piece. It's kind of like a transparent, loosened tail. That's kind of a nice little piece, except for the fact that it's covered with this stuff. And this stuff can be extremely messy. Ooh, and we found an arm. And we found another arm. Oh, this stuff has a really nice minty smell. Uh, 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 don't taste it though. So even though it feels kind of foamy, this is more of the sand compound and it is a little bit stretchy, but you have to be careful because just a tiny bit of this into the carpet will never come out. Never, oh, never, ever no. come out. So be very, oh, there it goes. Uh, be very careful with this. It is very fragile. It will break apart very easy, but very interesting, sandy, stretchy sand. Oh. Ooh, it's pretty much crumbling apart though. I'm having a tr tough time keeping this as one. There we go, just squeeze it together and get this back into the resealable bag as fast as you can and not on your fine tapestry carpet you just ordered off of uh, Deluxe Amazon. <laughs> so interesting pieces to start a tail and two forearms of our T-Rex. What is inside the red egg? We've got to wonder. Squeeze and pull helps on these. Squeeze and pull works. There. My gosh, oh, and now I've got the eggs all mixed up. I don't know which comes to which. I better, uh, I think this one popped out, and I think this one did, so I think we're closer. Let's try to keep everything contained in this one. Is it the same map, we gotta wonder? Probably close. Oh, no way, is that a shark? I did not expect this, it's a Megalodon. Mega, oh, fun. We're gonna build a Mega. So then there's our other map. It's probably pretty close. Uh, this one went with that one, I think. If it's not perfect, it's not perfect. Let's scratch this off. I gotta say, these maps always nice with a brick separator. And it is, again, the tall tail. So pretty much the same thing, just different dinosaurs. Where is the other pack? There it is. So what pieces will we find in this one? It's going to be part of a Megalodon, right? Is it going to be the same color, I wonder? It is the same color. More crumply, crumbly compound. And I've got something, maybe a shark fin. Oh, we've got a couple things. This is very large, so several things inside. It is what could be the back tail fin of a Megalodon. Very cool. And kind of transparent, I like the look of these. That's fantastic. If you can get this stuff off your fingers. And there is this stuff. Kind of gives you the heebie-jeebies. Okay, these are like little fins, I believe, to our mega. Okay, so, dot, 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 dot. Fun foam, keep it sealed and move it off to the side. Ah, Hammond, good to see you are back up. Let's go back to this. I think we'll just stick with one map. They're going to lead us on the same hunt, and then on the back they will show how to build different dinosaurs, so we can switch at that point. This one says, you will be headed deep into the eye land. Get it? Eye land? Welcome to Dino Island. Arr. 
so it's island. Everybody got that? No. So now that's got to be one of these. I think that's the picture. This one went with the red. We're going to start with the black. I suppose we'll know right away which one it is as to what pieces we pull, right? And let's try to kind of move some of this foam out of the way. This is dino foam. We will see. Oh, this is the really good foamy stuff. It's more of a styrofoam compound ball system. And it's something we have seen before, say, in Treasure X Monster. Um, but this stuff is a little more dry. And I guess it all depends on how long this has been left out in the sun. If they left this smashers in the sun. Look at all the foam inside the dino head. Oh my goodness. It's like packed in there. We've got to peel it out. That's kind of a fun thing to do. And it's starting to hold together pretty well. So maybe it is okay that it's kind of dry. This is some fun stuff. Everything so far is very fluorescent green. So the foam here, or didn't we used to call this floam? Uh, Nickelodeon floam? Maybe they were the first to discover the awesomeness of combining slime with styrofoam beads. Uh, but it can be very stress reducing. Actually, this might be the best compound to, to shape your own dinosaur. I think I've already got a dinosaur forming here. Look at that. So you can really shape and mold this stuff. Uh, keep it in the pack though, because it's just at this consistency where it may dry out and lose its ability to move about. But it is quite stress relieving and very, very fun to, to mess around with. Very fluorescent green, but not very stretchable with this stuff. It breaks apart pretty easily. But if you keep this contained, I think you can hold on to this stuff for quite a while and make some pretty cool dinosaur stuff with it. Some pretty cool dino display. So there's our T-Rex head. There's some stuff stuck in there. Anybody got a way out? Let's try this trick. Oh, that made a great noise. So we've got a T-Rex head. Now we've got to find possibly what? Our Megalodon body? Maybe? What do you think? Megalon, Megalodon, Mega Body. Oh, that's stuck. So, what do we have? And there, look at there. Oh, I love the eyeball. Look at the little spiral retina uh, pupil thingy. Not retina. Oh, and it's all caked in there. And now we've got double the foam to mess around with. These are going to be pretty big, too, I think. I think once these are constructed, they might be our biggest smashers yet to have built. So that's exciting. So there we got this stuff all ready to go. I can make a football with this stuff. Whew. Probably wouldn't throw very far. Three, too late to turn around. Too late to turn around. I think Hammond fell. So we're looking for the purple dino slime compound here. That would be this bag right here. Dino slime must be a leg in a treasure chest. Well, what do we got for this year's? I think it's going to be bright fluorescent green. What do you think? That's my guess. Oh, it's actually more of a, almost a clear gel, maybe. Well, look at the size of this foot. <gasps> it's huge. Oh, it's even darker, so it's kind of a darker, interesting, very interesting. I don't think I've ever seen a color like this before. It's like a deep, translucent color to it. I'm trying to keep it in the bag so that I don't get it mixed up with the foam that we saw earlier. 
I don't know, it's kind of like tar, right? It's, um, it's a tar pit. Dinosaurs got stuck in tar at times. Or did they? I can't remember the story. But there's two feet, two giant Tyrannosaurus Rex feet. It's really stuck up in the nails, this stuff is. But it's actually coming off pretty easy. Sometimes it is just an absolute, well, slime mess. And there you go. So this is cool stuff. That's fun. I'm liking this La Brea Tar Pit slime here. It is kind of this dark black, but yet translucent, transparent. You can almost see through it. You can almost see through this. <laughs> Don't do that. Um, but yeah, this is perfect for dinosaur. I like the contrast with the bright green of the foam, the foam and the sand. So pretty fun on that one. Probably a fin or something. And is it the same color, I wonder? It's a good contrast between the bright green. We've got a flipper. And another flipper. And I just had a comment the other day um, from someone who had opened the lava egg and their slime was basically liquid. And yeah, that can happen sometimes, especially if they like leave these eggs out in the sun somewhere outside, you know, it cooks it up or maybe the slime just got old or just was a bad batch. So that's that was kind of a bummer. Luckily, the slime here today was pretty fresh. So we have a couple flishers for our Don Omega. Huh? And we can continue on with our map if I can get some of this stuff off my fingers. So what is our next piece to add onto our dinosaur collectible? We've got, there's danger as far as you can see. Oh, it's the eyeball. So we've got to unlock the eyeball from the pack, I think. So right now our eyeball Welcome to Dino is heavily screwed down into the back of this. So if we unscrew this, we can actually have the eyeball available. Here's a try me pull. This probably changes some of the sound effects, I wonder. So he certainly says a lot of things now. He's very talkative. I'm gonna leave this in for the moment. If I have to take it out, I will. And I really wanna paint this. That would be great. Oh, is it blue? The eye is changing. It's rotating color, very nice. Stage five, these pirates have a bone to pick with you. And that would be probably this giant bag right here. I haven't seen the table this messy in quite a while. A pirate dino is inside. What? What is this? I really am questioning this level of adventure. <coughs> Whoa, it is the body, of course, of the T-Rex. Once again, enormous. Nothing in here. This is a... Oh, look at this air compound. Ooh. <laughs> oh, it just disappeared. So there's some air compound in there, enjoy. Doesn't last very long, it'll blow away pretty quickly. So there is our body. And you can see these are huge. John Hammond could actually use this as a uh, bed to take a nap in. So pretty impressive with the scale of Pirate's Gold today. Oh, and of course our bag for the Megalodon here. Let's see what we have for the body of Mega. And... It's almost the same, like you can almost hardly tell the difference. Oh, the air compound, the air compound. Oh, there it goes, oh, fire. Um, so there is the difference. We've got a big shark tail, obviously, on Don, and uh, the T-Rex, a little more of a bony spine. But both are very large. Oh, they both have this nice little 
a pirate dinosaur flag feature marking on their sides too. That's that's a nice little marking on them. Uh, don't be petrified, matey. There's treasure to be found. Who had fun writing these? Which pirate for step six? So this is a small bag. And I still have slime on my fingers. Um, it's got to be back here. What is this for? Okay, but I think this is what we're looking for right now. The other skull also has that, by the way. We'll get to that soon. Mystery treasure. Mystery treasure. A golden T-Rex head. So finally, what, 20 minutes in or so, we see an actual mini uh, what we used to collect often with Smashers, uh, the mini a gold T-Rex head. And, oh, there's our pirate! Remember how it said a pirate mini? And there it is. How funny. I thought we would see this guy much, much sooner, and I kind of forgot. So that's kind of a neat little mini. So with the black dino, we had the gold T-Rex head and a pirate mini. Will that be the same with the red? Will the red one feature the same or something different? Nope, it is another golden T-Rex head. And will the pirate be the same? The pirate be the same, yarr. Maybe painted just so slightly different, ha But yeah, that's how you can get a pirate in either one of the eggs. And so with that, have we completed our map? I believe we may have. And now we build. Now we build our Mega and our Rex. Let's start with the Rex. So the eyeball does remove, oh, if I twist and rotate the outer shell, maybe I do not have to unscrew. That would be a lot more helpful. Sure enough, there's a big arrow there. How did I miss that? Um, oh, it just unlocks from the so obvious. Now we have our eyeball removed. I had a feeling that seemed a little bit tricky hard. And there is our eyepiece. Awesome. So we can remove that eye. But let's build our T-Rex now. As if I can figure out what piece is what now. Now we're a little bit mixed up with Omega. There is Hammond's bed. That's got to be our T-Rex. There's our headpiece. And we'll somehow snap this on. Oh, terrific. Terrific bite on this one. Oh, and it has a spring release. Very fun. Man, you're going to fit all sorts of guys in there. It's like going to totally eat your smashers. And legs are going to pop in pretty easy. In the past, some of these have been pretty flimsy and have fallen apart pretty quick, but I think this one's going to stay together pretty well. And again, I love this translucent color they've got going with it. It feels like a fossil. And a tail. What did I do with its tail? That is probably the most underachieving T-Rex tail I've ever seen. And it's still covered with some of the green foam. Yeah, that tail could have been two, three times as big. Not sure why they wimped out with that one. And forearms. Those are flippers. There's some arms. They're covered in this green stuff, which is so difficult to get off. Probably wash and sink, I suppose. And then clog said sink. Or maybe you can use it as a glue compound so it stays attached forever. We got one of those, and this is the other one. This one is super covered. And there we have it. Well, that is actually incredibly impressive overall. Maybe not the tail, but the Smasher itself is quite cool. And again, you can place poor John inside for his super dinosaur bed. This is probably what he uses as a dinosaur bed. Okay, so we have the Mega to build. The Mega is probably going to feature a very similar mouth with spring feature. I got the heads right, yeah. Yeah, that's definitely a shark head. That would have been funny had I got the head switched. I wonder if you could do that. You might actually be able to do that. They almost feel same scale. You can like switch and match heads. Hmm, this one doesn't want to fit on as, as cleanly. Oh, there we go. Now I got it. I like that spring feature. It's tight. And tail goes back here. Kind of kind of similar to Rex. Not as bad, but still kind of stumpy. I guess because of the size of the bag, they came in 
they had to go a little stumpy. And that's probably for this side. That's not it, is it? That doesn't fit at all. It's these guys. These guys are your flippers. Which side goes where? Might have to consult the instructions really fast. Well, that one seemed to snap in. Did I get that right? I think it's like this. I think it's got the little bone protruding forward. It fits in. So there's its flippers. And these are actually, it's, oh, gotta go back to my biology class from years ago for the back fins of these. What are these called? Anybody gotta know? Know the correct terminology? So these tiny little ones are gonna stick back here. And he's got a little bit of foam and a little bit of foam still attached. So there is our mighty Megalodon Mega Fossil Dino Fossil Yeehaw! with opening and closing mouth. Possibly, there's a little round circle in here. I'm wondering if that's to um, help you with the egg? Not really. Oh, the eyeball. I think you place the eyeball inside. Maybe, and it just kind of sits and rests. And then when you squeeze its head, that's what it's for, I guess. I'm guessing. And it even goes and rolls inside its body. It fits perfectly in there. That's weird. That is so weird. But I like it. It fits really well. I only have one working eyeball. So let's see how the Rex works with this one. We'll take out Hammond real fast and drop in. And by swallowing, you almost get an inner body glow experience. Let's lower the lights down and see if we can do another body glow. nice effect illuminating the dinosaur's either head or body cavity although once it's inside the main body I can't really reactivate it you got to reactivate in the mouth Welcome to Dino. oh I lost the tail on that one pretty nice effect we've got these interesting packs what are in these no one ever said when to ever open those are they like extra battery things something for the eyeballs I wonder Oh, the stickers! Of course! Forgot about those too, and they're puffy! So we can collect some really interesting stickers. There's a Puffy Mega 3D sticker. There is a Pirate Skull. There is the Mega again. Did I open the Mega Pack first? I must have. This one's stuck. Got a Pirate Flag. And there's T-Rex, and there's the Pirate. Most likely it's the same in each bag, I'm guessing. It's probably easier to do it that way. Yep, those are the same. Puffy though, 3D stickers. That's like a blast from yesterday or yesterday or on those. So fun little extra there. So now it is officially Smashers Smashing Time. Five eggs included with each pack. That might be down from Six. I feel like we used to get six. We've got a re-egg former too. And now we can start to smash. So first we have to very carefully remove the outer packaging so that not to break open our new smasher eggs and ruin the fun. There's one. And all eggs are ready to go. Just be very careful, they can explode on you before throwing. Although these are feeling a little bit stronger than normal. There's a pretty cool broken egg texture look to these. So let's begin our smash of a few fun Smashers Dino Pirate eggs. So what did we get? It looks like a reindeer with a pirate patch. I Swear we've seen that one before, maybe. We'll get in closer in just a second. Breaking open another egg. Trying this one on for size. This one is a reindeer with another, another pirate eye patch reindeer. Maybe I got these mixed up. That's a possibility. So what do we have next? 
How about the one in the back here? Let's try this one. There's something different. These are pretty much repaints though. I'm pretty sure we've seen this character before from Ice. Kinda sad that the minis have taken the back seat in this series. The minis, for me, has always been what I wanted to collect. All right, let's try one more. And that one, a saber tooth. And our final egg of the day of the five of the black dinosaur protruding from the skull of pirate head would be this one, and it is A moose. A moose is loose and it's lowered down. That's a little different. So there we have our miniature finds. And yeah, I really swear I've seen these before. I just went through my smashers bin and they apparently have wandered off. I'm really pretty sure we've seen the musk ox before in a, like a bluish snowy color. And the reindeer looks very familiar too. Maybe not so with the eye patch. There's our saber tooth. The moose to me feels like the most original. I don't think I've ever opened a moose before. So you get five Smasher figures, but do not forget about the skull, the golden skull, and the pirate also included. So there are a few minis included. There's not even a mini guide like before, like what to collect. So they've really gone full egg with this series. Well, let's see if there are any others, if we have another reindeer patched character, if I got them mixed up. We have five more eggs in the red dinosaur pirate skull set. Curious if these are going to be the same. I have a feeling they will be. Let's open them up real quick. Okay, so all at once, all five smashers at once, dino pirate, one, Two, three. I hope we can find what we can find. Okay, I see an elephant, a golden elephant, and I see another golden elephant. So what I think happened there was I got one of the uh, reindeers and one of the elephants switched up when I had opened that egg earlier. So the golden elephant, or should I say a, a orange elephant with golden tusks will be found. Oh, but look at there, another musk ox. So, hmm, that really changes some things. Now, anything else in here? Any, oh, this one might be the, the win of the day. Is that scrap? Scrat maybe from Ice Age, well, it looked like Scrat. This is a golden prehistoric squirrel I'm going to call, and this may actually be uh, pretty super rare in my opinion, because it's so shiny gold. And was that it? Was that what I found? One, two, three, four, there's gotta be another one. Oh, another moose. So with the pulling of another moose and a musk ox, I cannot say that, musk ox, and our golden rat, it feels like what you're going to get in these eggs are going to be pretty random. So maybe I did accidentally pull two in one and two in the other. That is a very high possibility. If that happens to you, let us know in the comments. I don't mind getting a double sometimes. It's like they're twins and it's kind of fun. I suppose if I got five of these though, I would be pretty bummed. But this guy, this guy takes the win for the day. I like this miniature a lot. This is a really cool collectible golden rat. I'm curious if we've seen before in Smashers. I've lost some of my guides now. I'll have to look into this in between this video and the next. But really, this is what Smashers to me is all about, is smashing these little eggs, finding these little miniatures. It is enjoyable doing the big stuff too, but man, the little stuff is where it's at. It is so fun. And I can take these to church and keep myself busy during those lengthy sermons. <laughs> and again, with the inclusion of these little pirate characters, this has been fun. This has been an absolute thrill to go through some of these Smashers the Pirate. And of course, as for the big guys, they're quality fun too. You can totally fill them up with your character minis and your egg pieces. They're a great little carry case system. 
These two together are quite the bit of fun. I love the spring chomping jaws. And with the rebuilder, if you're handy at rebuilding the eggs, I know it takes a ton of practice. There's a little cheat sheet on kind of how to do it. <gasps> I'm not very good at it. Oh, oh my goodness, we finally found the collector guide. <gasps> that's really funny. This whole time I thought, oh, that's just the cheat sheet for the uh, rebuild of eggs. So here's our collector guide. This is what we found today. We found the golden fox. I call it a squirrel. Uh, there's also a mosquito, a brontosaurus would be fun. There's the deer, a bear would be awesome. The seated moose or the low down to the ground moose is interesting. The rat, I know we've seen that rat before. The mammoth, the triceratops, T-Rex is out there, lion, caveman in gold. An egg, we've definitely seen that egg before. Pterodactyl, wolf, ox, snake, and Homer Simpson ape is in there. So there we go. It doesn't look like any of them are labeled rare, super rare. It's more about trying to find them all, which would be kind of a challenge because you kind of have to pick up these large eggs to look for them. So yay, we found a guide, everything squared away there. That's the pirate skulls of today, the black dinosaur T-Rex skull and the red T-Rex skull. I think the black gave you the T-Rex and the red gave you the mega. Or was it the other way around? Just make sure you get one or the other if you want uh, different dinosaurs inside black. Yeah, black was T-Rex. Anyhow, what a collection. They were fun. I really like the miniatures inside. That's always my favorite part. But the giant dinosaur building was cool too, and so was that eyeball. If you liked today's video, please give us a squike, a squirrel eye, and a squamant. What are you most excited for in Smasher's Dino Island? Thank you so much for watching. That's what I have to say about that. Oh, and don't forget to check out the Mega Dino Egg opening review and the smaller Dino Egg opening review. Those will be interesting too. Hopefully we will find more miniatures inside. 